welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new I've got a few new subscribers I'm very excited about that today very low-key very casual uh, kind of a video so today's Saturday I might have to film a little bit tomorrow I am having on Sunday tomorrow I'm having a soup party everybody's bringing a crock pot soup of their choice um, but anyway it's gonna be uh, a fun fun time and so I'm just trying to get things ready and I thought why not make a video of you know me doing things getting the party ready and you guys coming along, I think it'll be fun. So I've got my menu here. I'll show you what's on the, um, the menu. We're gonna make a couple things together. Let's get started. I always write things down. So the appetizer is gorp. Gorp, in case you never heard of it, was an old fashioned word. It's really trail mix. And I've got the stuff right here. We're gonna make that in a little bit. Let's go back here, nice and slow, so I don't get you dizzy. Um, and I just listed the things I'm gonna put in it. Uh, the meal, of course, is going to be soup, some salad, and some breads, different kinds of breads. Dessert, I'm going to make peanut butter brownies, pumpkin muffins with that cake mix, you know, the two ingredient. I thought that would be fallish. I'm going to try to get some cinnamon donuts, and I just put apple cider on there so when people come, if they want to have some apple cider or uh, with their dessert. Um, so let me show you what I've got going on in the dining room. Um, I'm going to serve it in this wooden bowl with like a, um, a nice scoop. Got some plastic cups, smaller size. People can scoop it up, put it in there. But I'm gonna get a plastic bowl from way down here. And we'll keep it in that. That'll keep it nice and um, fresh until tomorrow. Very simple. I mean, you know trail mixes. Sometimes they can be healthy, sometimes they're not. This one's not the healthiest, but who cares, right? Gotta have fun and live. Just a small batch. We got that, we got peanuts. So pretzels. Peanuts going here. I don't know if I'll put all those in. That might be a little too many. Uh, actually, I should take that off. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of raisins. Sometimes people don't like raisins, but we'll stick them in there. And I forgot these are the wrong kind of chips, so let me get the right kind of chips. All right. Um, yeah, these I used. I think these are the lilies, and they might be unsweetened. I don't want to put those in there. So we're going to, I only have mini small ones. We'll do that. Um, I think, oh, candy corn. This candy corn is kind of funny. You either like it or you don't. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of nice for the color. Also, but it's okay. You know what? I think it's kind of silly not to put all the peanuts in. Right? I'm gonna mix this up and that'll be done. Just a little something to snack on. Okay, good enough. Got the right cover? Oh, geez, I got the wrong cover. Hold on, everybody. All right. So it will look nice in here. The cups and the scoop. We'll kind of put this aside. Probably should have showed you a quick picture, but I know you guys know what uh, trail mix is. So not a lot of stuff, but just a few things. Uh, nice little snack to, uh, to grab and uh, put out some cheese and crackers, too. All right. So we have our 13 by 9. We're going to spray that. Pillsbury brownie mix was on sale, so that's what it is for today. I already added my two-thirds cup of oil, a quarter cup of water, and two eggs. We're gonna mix that, and then remove this oil. And then what we'll do is add the um, peanut butter and confectionery sugar. So I hope I inspired you to maybe have a fall get-together. So everybody's bringing a different soup. I think it should be really fun. So I had to get things done anyway, so I figured I'd take you guys along. And I believe we gotta melt some peanut butter and confectionery sugar. All right, so I took a cup of peanut butter. You melt it in the micro for uh, 30 seconds. It's nice and melty. Add a quarter cup of confectionery sugar. Whisk that together. And then you just drop it by teaspoonfuls. All right, so I whisk that a little bit better. Did I mention I have my oven set to 350? And then you just swirl this. You guys have maybe even made it before. They're delicious. And I thought it'd be a little bit different than, um, you know, the regular brownie. Sometimes I obsess about all different ideas and then I just decided, you know what, just pick something quick and stick with it. 
because I get myself all picky about it and you know. Look how pretty everybody. All right, we're gonna put that in the oven. All right, so we made our trail mix. We made the peanut butter brownies. Next up is the uh, pumpkin muffins. I'm gonna kind of clean up this mess. I probably could have put them in at the same time, but that's okay. So I'll clean up this mess and we'll make that together as well. See you soon. Hey everybody, so we are back. I'm not gonna show you um, me making the pumpkin muffins. They're simple, the two ingredient. I'd rather show you me making the soup. I'm making chicken yonkey soup or possibly the overnight pumpkin monkey bread. I know, it sounds delicious. Um, instead of the cinnamon donuts I was gonna have. So uh, I'll be back at some point. I'm making little labels for our soup so we can put them in front of the crock pot so everybody knows um, what kind of soup there is. And I'm excited to show you everything on Sunday, at least the setup if I don't go get to a lot of it because of time. I don't wanna make the video too long. It would be a snoozer. And um, okay, that's about it. I'll be back. All right, guys, it's very early, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of my chicken gnocchi soup. Um, so I've already cut up onions, and it will be linked, don't worry. Um, onions, garlic, carrots, and celery. And I'm cutting up my chicken. I have one more piece to go. Um, I should've got like some, some thicker chicken breast, but that's okay to cut up, not a big deal. So we should have like five to seven soups coming. Um, so that should be exciting. All right, so the butter is melted in the crock pot. I'm just gonna add the veggies. And then you add the chicken. And we're gonna add some chicken broth. Salt and pepper. I'll do that now. I think they want you to add mustard powder or something like that. I don't have that, but we'll just do salt and pepper. And I'm gonna add some thyme. A lot of times I just do Italian seasoning, but that's okay. Let's do that. You don't add the spinach till the very last minute, like before you serve it. And Yankee, I will probably cook separate and just add it in. If you add it in now, it's just gonna cook and get bigger and dry everything up. So actually, whoops, before I do that, let me just stir all that in. Let me bring you up a little here and then I'm just gonna add in the, uh, just so you can see. There we go, and then I'm just gonna add in the broth. Let me... All right, so I'll just bring you one last time. Can't really see much. And we're gonna let that cook six to eight hours. And then like I said, before you eat, add the spinach and the gnocchi at the last minute and uh, I'll show you everything later. All right guys, I'm just kind of um, updating you before everybody comes, but I am gonna try to take um, a picture of all the soups or at least, you know, the setup. So I decided to make a last minute apple cider. I'm heating up some um, apple cider. Let me show you. Never made it before. I know there's nothing to it, just heat it up. I'm trying to get that to come to a little bit of a boil. Add some slices of apples, maple syrup. You can do brown sugar too. A little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of salt, I guess brings out the flavors. And I've got a couple glasses set up here. So that's uh, that's what I got going on. And in here, um, it's kind of cool out today. It's like a High 50s or 60s, so pretty sure we'll be eating inside. But you never know, sometimes the guys like to eat outside if we have a fire. But I just, I'm gonna slice up some bread, but I've got some bread over here. Got my centerpiece, a couple other baskets. And then on the tables, um, I've just gonna kind of set up for some desserts and stuff. So, um, but I'll, I'll try to take you along some more. All right, here's the quiet before the storm. Frank's about to use some kind of weed whacker or something, so let me get all this in. Backyard's looking ready. I'm not doing anything in the gazebo. Look at the ferns, guys. But anyway, backyard's ready, and we're ready to go. Got my coffee bar all set, just keeping it simple. Even added some hot chocolate. So that's looking good and all ready. All right, just a quick video of all the crock pots. We've got 
big potato, chicken yonki, asopeo de pollo, pasta basura, lasagna soup, pumpkin soup. So we got that. So um, very exciting. We're getting there. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I encourage you to do this with your family. Um, I'm going to go back outside and enjoy my family. So hope to see you soon. See you later.